Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle and Jason and Kathy from Ohio Cat. And we are here at the Circleville Festival in Circleville, Ohio. Are you ready, Michelle? I'm ready. Are oh, you guys ready? Absolutely. Yeah. We're here because of you guys. You guys are the, the know-it-all for the Circleville Festival. So lead the way. We will. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I love the smell of food cooking at a festival. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, all right, look at that. The way they're hanging up on the top like that. I don't think so. Is that broken? Is that supposed to do that? I don't know, man. I would be really sick of that. I'd fall out of that thing. Oh, man. No, no, no. I take a pass on that one. Wow. It turned out to be a beautiful day for the Circleville Festival. It's a Saturday, the Buckeyes are playing Penn State, and the Circleville Festival is in full swing. I think I'd rather be here than Ohio State game. That's just me, but hey, either way, you can't go wrong. This is pretty awesome, everyone. This is what it's all about. The pumpkins are here. And these things are awesome. Exactly. It's the Pump Circleville Pumpkin sell. Show. Look at oh my, look at that. Another half a day. Another half a day. You know everything doesn't happen till the end. This is pretty cool. I know they How much does one of those baskets go for? One of these? Yeah. Um, right now it's one for three or two for five. One for three or two for Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'll be back. Yeah. That's not two bad. For five. All items are for sale. They do cash and credit card of here. And there's Kathy, Jason, and Michelle. Yeah. Hey Michelle! Yeah. I just want them to know where I am so they don't flip out. Look at all these over here. Wow. They're, they got such a nice little shiny gloss on them too. So cool. Excuse me. And now we're coming up to the big ones over here. Look at these mothers. Wow. They get bigger as you go that way, it seems. Wow. Thank you so much. Is that one that you grew? No, no, Dr. No, okay. Just missed it. Was just in there. Oh, wow. Which one? Are, do you have a section over here with some of yours or what? I have one back there. They're back over there? Yeah, I am. Doing wow. Do you have entries every year in this, basically? I tried to. I did yeah. last year. How many years have you been at it? 18. Wow. Thank you very much. Hey, congrats. Excellent work. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know how you grow something this big like that, though. It just must be a certain kind of seed. It's like the one seed that you use from this, well, that harvest another big one for the sure. next that's yeah. how it works then yeah, it's like a all the seeds that keep the hot and the humidity going. are those seeds for sale or is that sure. a yeah, you can is. actually sell them yeah five dollars a packet five dollars do you take yeah. cash yeah, or what? Seeds, yeah all right it comes with instructions and websites and, uh, hang on i'm gonna buy some seeds okay i bought some pumpkin seeds to grow a giant pumpkin i'm okay so 
This is the world record over here. This one right over here. Brandon Wiggins, 1,707 pounds. And this, and that one over there is the, the record of 1,963 pounds. Oh no, wait. There's one, that one over there is 2,388 pounds. That's crazy. Let me get out of here. I'm blo Everyone's taking pictures in here. I'm standing right in front of them. That's it over there. If I could grow something even close to that, my mom will be jealous. All right. Okay, so they have a history from 2000 all the way down to 2023. Look at that. Bob and Joe Liggett, they've been at it, and they have that one. Look at that. Wow. And there's Bob Liggett again. Yeah, that, that guy is the guy that I think I bought these from. Beautiful. All right. We are in search of something pumpkin to eat. I'm thinking pumpkin pizza or a pumpkin burger. Now, all the little stands over here are your traditional, you know. They're down that way? Thank you. Awesome. That guy was helping me see that. How did he hear me say that? I was like talking over here. And he <laughs> that was pretty cool. So, yeah, so we're going to go back after we find Jason because he's missing in action right now. We're going to... The gentleman over here said that they're back that way, the pumpkin burgers and the pumpkin pizza and stuff like that. But we're on a mission to find Jason right now. I was watching this place on the live stream and I saw this mural from the live stream, which is back. And I thought that it was, I thought it was actually a building, but it is a building, but the mural, you could see the building over there in, in reality. And there's the building on the mural over there, I believe. That is pretty cool. Yeah, we are here again at Circleville, Ohio for the pumpkin show, 2023 version. And this is awesome, baby. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Grain Indoors. And I'm gonna be in this festival next year with my own massive pumpkin. It's gonna be awesome. This is cool. Thank you again for inviting us. Uh, this is really here. cool. Really glad you're here. We're gonna be trying oh. pumpkin spice cheese sizzle. It's not at all good. All right. So these are the Angus tails with barbecue sauce. All right, Kathy, give it a try. All right. I want your honest opinion on it. Let's see, it's really hot. <laughs> Just take your time. Have you guys ever had this before? Uh-uh. No? That's the first. Well, I give you credit for doing that on camera then. Not bad. So it's got Angus beef in there. Wow. Not tasting the cheese, just mostly flour texture. Yeah, but... It's I'll very hot though, isn't it? Is it is hot. I'll let it cool Yeah, it just came much. off the grill. There you go. The Jason's going to put some dip on it to cool it down. There's the oh cheese pool. Very hot. Sweet yeah. Would you get it again, though? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay, Michelle got the cheese pumpkin spice cheese sizzle. All right, give that a try, Michelle. Wow, look at the cheese on that one. Wow. It's hard when you're on camera to make it look good and be able to get it all in your mouth at the same time especially when there's a cheese pulled going on there this is good you it like it very beefy yeah, yeah. can you taste the pumpkin in that too or what yeah you try it now here i'll film you all right look at that cheese Good. So go ahead, perfect. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't eat all that. Okay. 
think I do like pumpkin pie. Yeah. And you mix pumpkin pie with cheese, and that's what you get. And Michelle got me a Pepsi to go with it. That is really good. All right. Good job, Michelle. Okay. So what do you think so far, Michelle? A lot of vendors, a lot of food, and a lot of good local eats. There's pumpkin waffles up ahead. You ready to go look at that? Sure. I don't know if we're going to get to it, but there's pumpkin Everything pizza, pumpkin. pumpkin burgers, pumpkin everything. I just don't want to get lost because Jason and Kathy, they are our ride here. <laughs> and if I don't find their, them, then we don't go home. <laughs> okay, that woman just got in front of the sign, but we're looking at pumpkin brats. I don't know if I've ever had a pumpkin brat before, but I think today is going to be the day. <laughs> Let's check it out. Give this time. Okay, here's the pumpkin brat. And it's infused with pumpkin and I think cranberry is in there too or something like that. And, and pork. Berries. Okay. So give that a try, Michelle. It looks like it's got white bread on there too. There you go. No cheese pull on that though. But can you taste the pumpkin in that a little bit? Or does it taste more like a brat? She's got her mouth full. Sorry about that. Okay. You can taste the cranberry. The cranberry more than the pumpkin. All right. Now the brat. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Now it's my turn to try the pumpkin brat. The brat does control the flavor. But you can taste the cranberry it's and... a hint of it. Pretty good if you like brats. I, I like it. Try it too. Mm. Jason and Kathy are going to try the pumpkin brat too. No, that's pumpkin brats. Never even that. Yeah. Would you try to infuse that go. at home? How do they go by pumpkin? They got cranberry in there with a little bit of uh, pumpkin, but the brat does control the flavor. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it's different. I there like you it. go. Now, Kathy jumped the gun and went straight for the pumpkin donuts, okay? That's breaking the rules going for the sweets I first, know. okay? I had some savory first. But we're going to let you try one and okay. let us know how it goes. Yeah. Crispy, sweet, with yeah. pumpkin inside. And it's easy to eat while you're walking, it too. Is. And that one well, wasn't maybe, as Maybe it's too easy, okay? I know. <laughs> I, I will share. And, and see that? could put that in the sandbox. That's right. You could play with it afterwards and make a little... Oh, whatever. Way to go, Michelle. She's on a mission to get fried vegetables. Fried veggies. And right next door is pumpkin fudge. Pumpkin fudge. What the heck is pumpkin fudge? Maple walnut, vanilla cream, chocolate walnut. Okay, there's pumpkin walnut. You can see the difference in the color there. And then there's pumpkin, pumpkin peanut butter. Okay, where did she go? She got her, okay, there she is. Watching them make the corn dogs over there. That looks oh. so good. Man, I can't, I gotta stay focused. Focused. There's, <laughs> it's hard to not get that when you're looking at that over there. And then the aroma. And then, yeah, you smell all the fried vegetables over here, the fried, and then the pump, the corn dogs over there. You're, you're driving me nuts, you know? <laughs> this is where all the magic happens, where they make the fried veggies over here. Is that the fried veggies over there, or is that the onion rings? These are the fried veggies. Oh, yeah. You're going to be happy. Oh, I will. Oh, my. Always good. That looks like fried green peppers. Is that what that is over there? Yeah. Oh, I never even knew that was a thing. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> you got to try that for the camera, oh, okay? <laughs> this is the green pepper fried with a little bit of what's that ranch dressing, ranch dressing on there yeah excellent choice <laughs> it had a chance to cool down we had to get away from where it was so congested because there was just 
no room to maneuver over there. Yeah, the batter is really crispy, a little bit of salt, and uh, of course the green peppers fried perfectly. So and it's right off it. the off the the fryer. Mm -hmm. so, and the oil looked like they changed it too. You go to some of these places, and the oil looks like it's been destroyed. You know, from multiple yeah. days. Yeah, and the, I, the color is right because it's not a dark. It's got mm -hmm. that means the oil was clean when they used it, when they cooked it. All right. Anybody else want to try? Let Jason try what he wants over there. That onion ring looks really good. Mm -hmm. oh. What is that? Cauliflower. Is that like a, oh, you could have the cauliflower, mm -hmm. dude. <laughs> I'm good with cauliflower. He's eating it without dip, too. I give you credit for that, dude. Good job. Do you want the mushroom? I don't like mushrooms. I'll try the mushroom. There you go. Just as long as it's not disguising itself as a, as a, as a cauliflower. Mushroom. Let's hope it is. I think it is. Okay. I think you're safe. Michelle, you want a mushroom? Mm. Onion? Thank you so much. That was really good. And you still have your donuts to eat too. We're having a great time. Thank you again for inviting us to the Circleville Festival. If it ended right now, I would be happy to say this is an awesome trip, but it's not over yet. We still have some more exploring to do. So it's a beautiful setting, good weather. Okay. Yeah, I love it. This place is like the hottest place in Circleville, Lindsay's Bakery, and the line goes all the way down the street. Let's go see if we can see inside at least. To see what is the big draw. Wow. If we had the time and the patience to wait in that line, we probably would have gone there. Oh, look at the pretty doggy. Oh, that's so cute. You may notice the difference in the camera. The GoPro died, as usual. So we're going to try to... We stopped off camera. We went live and we had some uh, gator on a stick. But I did not record that for the video. And it was good, but there was too much breading on it. The breading took over the, the taste of the gator. If this is for Amanda. Ohio sweet corn, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But we're still looking for that p pumpkin burger or pumpkin, pumpkin pizza. pizza. I see straight ahead pumpkin burgers. So we're gonna close out our video getting pumpkin burgers. So stick around. Okay, we are in line. Michelle is looking at t-shirts that she may want to buy, and there's no shock there. But uh, while she's doing that, I'm in line to get pumpkin burgers, and this is uh, sponsored by the Circleville Band Boosters. So the proceeds go to help out the Circleville Band. That's a win-win situation. All right, and there's Jason and Kathy. They're waiting ahead of us. Pretty cool. If you're wondering what's in a pumpkin burger, well then I'll let you know. Because maybe you may want to create your own pumpkin burger. But it has beef, of course, tomato paste, tomato puree, pumpkin, tomato soup, chopped onions, brown sugar, salt, old-fashioned oats, ground cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg. That guy's hand is in the way. Chili powder and... <laughs> Now, he, now he's really in the way. Okay. Ground oregano, black pepper, and pe maybe it's a secret. That's why he's standing over there. I don't know. Anyway, bottom line is that's a lot of ingredients in a burger. And I remember my mom making maybe a hamburger with maybe some breadcrumbs and onions, and that's about it. That goes way beyond what my mom made. So anyway, we'll, I'll bring you guys back when the burger comes out. Okay, this is the... Uh, what we're talking about, like they were saying, it looks like a sloppy Joe more than it looks like a hamburger. It's going to be a sloppy Michelle soon. Go ahead, Michelle. That looks actually pretty good. It's got a lot of different salt and brown sugar. Yeah? Got a lot of seasoning to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got a, like a, oregano, nutmeg, garlic powder, um, pumpkin tomato paste tomato you only get this in circleville and you're not getting this in wickliffe <laughs> is that 
good or what? Wait till you try it. No, did you like it? It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. All right. All right, now my turn for the pumpkin hamburger. Yeah, it tastes a lot like a good sloppy joe. I love it. It's kind of sloppy, and man, is it good. And it's nice and hot. Oh, yeah. That was worth finding. Go oh, good. Pumpkin burger. Oh, yeah. Good job, Michelle. And we were saying we're going to have wings later on tonight. So I don't know how we're going to handle that. But this is really good. Again, I want to say thank you to Jason and Kathy from Ohio Cat. Without them there, we would not have known where to find anything. Those two guys are awesome. And I do hope that you guys will subscribe to their YouTube channel, Ohio Cat. But after we got done at the Circleville Festival, we went to the Shade to get some chicken wings. And here are some pictures of that awesome place.